Howdy folks, TJ here. Here is the one pet, everyone's got one, that you love, but they're royal pains in the asses. I just tried to make a, a video for work, and this one's sitting here, spread eagle, showing his yam jams, showing his wingos, wabos, whatever you want to call them. He's such a pain in the ass, but you gotta love him. And uh, so, what am I doing? Well, I'm gonna do a Sinclair video. I got my Sinclair shirt on. And uh, Michael Jonas, thanks for inviting me to join in. Uh, they're calling it, uh, let's see if I got it right, Quelvember, QLVember. So for November, which is now, uh, let's talk about the QL. And Quelvember, QLVember, Quelvember, I, I, maybe Quelvember. <laughs> Either way, it's the Sinclair QL we're going to talk about. And I thought I would do a fun video on magazines for the QL. So the QL wasn't a big hit. Let's face it, folks. Even over in the UK, what did they sell? 140,000 or whatever it was. I don't know the exact number, but it wasn't tons. I guess you can all weigh out what is, uh, you know, something that was successful or not. But it was a cool computer. Is a cool computer. I happen to own one, and I love printed magazines. PDFs are fine, but yeah, I'm kind of like Al Bundy. You stick it in your you aren't pay and walk to the toilet and read a magazine. I like good old paper magazines. So what did they have for the QL? Well, they have some really cool magazines, and there's more than this. But this is what I've been able to collect so far. I do want to big, give a nice shout-out to Tim, buddy of mine here in California, who is a avid, long-time QL-er. And he wanted to clean out his garage, and he gave me a ton of magazines. Awesome. I'm in love. Thanks, Tim. Uh, so let's cover, I've got four different magazines here, and let's chat about them. So, first one, and let's see, if I'll kind of do some close-ups and then I'll yap about it for a little bit. Here is a little teeny tiny magazine called Quanta. It's basically, it looks like, uh, you know, your typical 11, 8 by 11, you know, piece of paper. Is it 8 by 11? Yeah, I think so. Uh, fold it up. Little staples here, and uh, it's called Quanta, and I am not a member of Quanta. I don't know if the Quanta's even, I think they're still around, but I don't know if they're pumping out this magazine or not. This one's dated Volume 8, Issue 11 from December 1991. The good old days of um, computing. 80s, really, but even the 90s, I would say 80s and 90s and even 70s, stellar. For me, after that, it's kind of gotten boring. Yeah, it's kick-ass, and there's great graphics and all this other stuff, but the heart of computing, I think, has been lost. It's all about speed, 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 instead of, you know, getting that next wonderful, different thing that we can all enjoy. Yeah, there's phones and stuff, but I just don't feel that heart in the computing anymore. Other than Spectrum Next, that's a new computer, and it's got an awesome heart, but we're talking QL. It's Quellember! So, Quanta... Again, fun little paper magazine. On the front, it's got a, looks like table of contents, so I don't know if, let me kind of adjust the lighting around. Yep, see, blue. You can't do business videos with, with a cat. Yeah, kitty, kitty, stupid cat. <laughs> this cat's gonna kill me, by the way. We've got two story. He runs right in front of you, cuts you off, and one of these days, I will be found dead at the bottom of my stairs, just so you know, blame the cat. Quanta. So it's got table contents in the front. Cool. Couple positions so you can maybe see it. The back looks like an advertisement. And the magazine looks to be mostly text. Text, text, text. You know, probably par for the point, but you know, to tell you the truth, desktop publishing was quite uh, available back then. And I, and I find that the QL magazines that I own are kind of boring in terms of pictures. Uh, I don't know why, because most magazines of the time, Atari and Commodore and all that, and even the Sinclair, all the Sinclair magazines, quite vibrant in color, but the QL magazines are kind of boring in terms of print that's on there, no pictures, it's all text. Now this is a, you know kind of a user group uh, you know, magazine, but let me, let me kind of look through here. So contents in this one, it looks like uh, 
some workshops, general meeting. So it's kind of a club newsletter magazine. So I don't know if I should uh, really say, you know, there should be lots of pictures and stuff in here. But even if there is just a few, desktop publishing is pretty cool. Maybe they made this on a QL. And to tell you the truth, also another surprise, I really thought the QL being a 68 uh, 68000, uh, 68,000 processor would have been hot and horny with desktop publishing and mouse support. No, they had some mouse stuff come up, but it just really wasn't like a Mac or an Atari that had 68,000 processor. It was kind of in its own little different arena, but still cool. And I'm still happy I own one, but I haven't quite found that attachment to it yet like I am with the next everything about the next I'm falling in love with the QL I I'm, I'm very happy I got one but I haven't quite found that uh, thing yet that's gonna take me over the top maybe I will one of these days magazine that's what we're trying to talk about I don't want to rag on the QL it's Quellvember right it is a cool computer you know for its time it was pretty cool so Quanta fun little newsletter type of magazine so what's next this one I think I'm enjoying the most, QL Today. So let's kind of show a little close up here of the front and the back. So the fun thing is I've got a whole bunch of these and the front cover is basically a super colorful piece of paper and then everything else is in you know black and white in, in, the, in the middle. And there's red ones and green ones, and they, they really like those uh, bold colors of it. And it's a pretty big, thick magazine. This one's got um, 58 pages, and they have some pictures. <laughs> That's why, I got, you know, this one, to me, like if they're at a, a, an event, there's a picture of the event in here. Uh, that type of thing. And, and soon we'll kind of look at some of these other ones, but this one so far seems to have the most heart to it. Uh, QL today. So on this one, the Sinclair service list, QL's writer's pack review, squash those PCs, the Bedford QL show. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. And it says QL today, volume one, issue two. Hey, this is a real old one, actually. Now I think about it. volume one, issue two. Hopefully I got volume one in there. July, August, 1996. So this came out well after the QL's demise, per se. Uh, because it you know stopped being made in 86 or whatever it was. Uh, so, fun. Let me open up a page here and find, you know, a lot of text, but the, you know, there is some graphical nature to it. Not just text only, but most of the magazines I've seen so far, text, text, text. And this one doesn't have tons of pictures either on this particular one, but I, I've got some, yeah, see here, you know, it's black and white. You're not going to be able to see it too well, but black and white, but it has a picture. Now, I, I love pictures, and it looked like it was a show or event kind of thing. So this one I, I really find the most fascinating. The magazine about QL, QDOS, Sinclair Computers, SMSQ. So that's that one. QL Today. What's next? <clears throat> QL User. So this is a nice, glossy magazine. Let's do a close-up here. Hopefully the light's not glaring off too much. Am I even recording this thing? I better check. Yeah, I'm eight minutes in. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of goofy today. Okay, there's the front. And back, a nice advertisement. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I'd love to get one of these QL monitors, but I'm in the United States, and the odds are that are happening are nil. Advertisements, pictures, uh, it just it looks like this is a, a chess game, has a nice picture in here, and graphics. QL user, I found that uh, I kind of like on the glossy side more, uh, definitely more than some of the other ones. So, nice glossy, this one's got a nice picture of a keyboard, that looks like an advertisement. Advertisement's got some pictures, but in general... They're kind of lame on the pictures um, for not non-advertisement stuff. But there's some in this one, which is cool. So this particular issue is from 1985, right in the heart of when stuff was going down. Soft Landing Summer Software Special. 
Printer settings and Scions match point C programming inside details of the QL user technical helpline. So QL user is interesting in that QL world and QL user were separate magazines that I see, but they did eventually kind of become one, I guess. I need to read a little bit more of the history of it, but I believe QL user went bye-bye, the name, and QL World was basically one that started from day one and ended when it ended. Um, so QL user, awesome. So QL World, every computer seemed to have the world magazine, Atari World, Amiga World, <laughs> Mac World, get it? So QL World had to have one, right? So I, was, I had big visions of this magazine had to have been the best, right? Now, this one I've got a real, uh, real big collection of. Here's the front. Hopefully I'm kind of getting this. Advertisement in the back. This particular issue, Battle of the Keyboards. And there's some pictures. I mean, here's QL scene. Again, you're not going to get, I'm not going to, you know, show very close-ups and every nitty-gritty. I'm not going to read the magazine to you. I just want to kind of cover it. Hey, folks, there were magazines for the QL in the day. And there's some pictures and stuff in here. But, I don't know, for some reason, I when I first got my first QL Worlds, it was the first magazines I got. This one is from 1988, so kind of after the heyday already. And, and I just kind of started thumbing through it, and I expected more... Pictures of events and shows and, you know, it's got some images in here, just um, graphically, some of the ads. It was like it had a world's worth of text in one ad, and it was just all text, and it was hard to read for me on some of those things. Maybe that, blame the advertiser and not the magazine for it, but um, I'm still happy to own them. But yeah, there's some pictures. I mean, it's not completely closed of it. But I expected um, a little bit more, for some reason, a little bit more tighter desktop publishing. I guess in my mind, 68,000 processor desktop publishing, you had to have it, right? And I just haven't, maybe I just don't know QLs well enough. And I know there was a couple of mentions of QL desktop type of publishing apps. But I really thought mouse would be more prevalent and desktop publishing would be more prevalent. Things that 68,000 processor was great for, in the United States at least. Uh, I know this is kind of more tailored towards business stuff, but so was the probably the original. Clive Sinclair wanted the original Specky, you know, to kind of be less gaming, but it became gaming. It was all about games. And there's some games for the QL too, but um, yeah, there's a selection of fun magazines. So am I happy I own them? Absolutely. I, I definitely... Love Sinclair stuff, and I am happy to own a Q QL. I definitely want to use it more, but I haven't found... I think with the Next, once my Next arrived, uh, some of the other computers have been kind of... I use them, but not as much, and it's all about the, the Next right now. But I need to find that special link with the QL, and I just haven't quite found it yet. But it's QL Vember, so maybe I will tonight read one of my magazines. Maybe I should grab Volume 1, Number 1, and try to reach back into that 1984 timeline and get excited about, ooh, this new computer just came out. What am I going to be able to do with it? Build some of that excitement um, into my QL stuff. I do have it in my office, and it's ready to go, and I turn it on periodically. Uh, but I haven't went much beyond that V drive stuff I've worked with. But I do need to do a few more things to kind of make my QL more usable for me. Anyway, maybe this will help me by talking about my magazines, do it. Maybe it'll help you buy your first QL or just explore QL. It is a fascinating computer, and there's still stuff happening. Devices being made, like the V-Drive and an external case. So there's uh, the gold card. I don't own the gold card or super gold card or any of those things yet. So maybe if I dive into that, it will uh, add some of the QL excitement to my computing world. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Happy QL November. Take it easy, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.